I feel like, okay, good morning everybody. You just saw my morning routine. It is 8.41 in the morning, so I just recorded that. Um, basically, get up, go into the restroom, brush my teeth, wash my face off a little bit with just water. Um, floss, mouthwash, and then I put my contacts in later in the day uh, to help with my like eye, eye strain while I'm at work. Uh, I come out in the living room, I open all the blinds, let all the light in. Uh, turn on my computer, get things going, and then continue to get ready. Um, lastly, I go into my room and make my bed, turn on all the lights, like uh, roll up all the windows in my bathroom, in my bedroom, sorry. <laughs> um, and then you saw I fill up my water bottle with some lemon water. I pretty much drink cold lemon water every day. I've been doing this for years. I feel like it helps wake up my metabolism a little bit um, and I heard some other things like it helps like cleanse your kidneys and stuff like that, your liver, I don't know how true that is but I like the taste of it so I drink it. Uh, so right now I'm going to work a little bit and then I make coffee probably like 30 minutes or an hour, I just try to drink the water first um, and then I'll put makeup on later before I have a meeting, work from home life, <laughs> so I'll check in with y'all later. Thing I forgot to mention as well is when I brush my teeth is kind of the first time I look at my phone um, and I'm only doing that because I work at home if I was leaving I wouldn't check my phone until I was like walking to my car um, just for my own mental capacity in the morning mental sanity um, I don't feel like I need to check my phone first thing so when I check my phone I'm looking at all the different things uh, in my phone basically uh, that's how I it's a really big way how I stay organized I look at my reminders app which I use all the time it reminds me of things I need to do at certain times I use my calendar to see what I'm doing that day and that week and stuff I need to do and whatnot my notes app I write a lot of notes where I kind of help myself stay inspired um, I look at that, I check my photos, see what I might post on Instagram that day for my Sydney Eats Fitness account, check that out. <laughs> uh, I check my mail, I do my inspirational uh, Bible devotional in the morning, I check my banks, my investments, etc. Um, I look at YouTube and see if there's anything interesting to watch that day, I looked at LinkedIn. This is kind of OCD, um, but I just go through all these motions every morning. And then I'll look through the rest of, like, scan over the rest of the apps, see if I need to check anything. I don't think I do, so then I swipe back over and go to Duolingo and practice my Spanish lesson every day. It takes, like, five minutes or less. And then I get on Instagram, look at my personal for a few minutes, and then go to my fitness one and make a post. And then I'll go back to my personal one and uh, actually scroll a little bit and this is all just in the time it takes to brush my teeth which is three minutes like on um, my electric toothbrush so I'm really only checking my phone for three minutes in the morning uh, and then I might get on a little bit later but I try not to be on it too much. All right, what's up y'all? I think you saw my morning routine and now I am uh, i didn't get my makeup on in that first one. So I'm getting ready for a meeting with a legislator, uh, just a Zoom meeting, but I'm gonna put on some makeup. So I figured I would show you and just do a little like get ready with me type thing. I don't do very much makeup, so this is going to be very short, but I will show you what I'm doing. Um, yeah. And I think I'm going to have to bend down quite a bit. So first step, I am taking off my glasses and putting in my contacts. And one thing I didn't mention during my morning routine is that I don't wash my face with any type of face wash or anything. I kind of could get into this topic a little bit now. Um, I have watched a lot of videos on Dr. Dre on YouTube. She's a dermatologist and I've learned a lot from her. And just from my own experience, my skin is very sensitive, um, but it's normal. Like, it's not dry or oily um, really at all. It's pretty normal, so I don't use face 
wash because when I was using face wash and moisturizer and stuff, I was breaking out a lot and I was getting these cysts like all over my chin and I still have some scarring and like a little bit of, I think you can see it like a little bit here. Um, but so since I've stopped, my skin has cleared up quite a bit. So I just use water um, in the morning at night. And something that's interesting is water actually alone uh, disrupts the pH balance of your skin, your skin natural, your skin's natural barrier um, defense against the world. <laughs> and when you're only putting water, it disrupts your skin balance. So imagine putting a cleanser or some type of exfoliator, God forbid, like on your face. So I don't do that. I don't use exfoliant anymore on any part of my body. And I just use soap sparingly, like Dr. Dre kind of explains in the areas that kind of see a lot of friction throughout the day, like the underarms, groin area, um, feet, stuff like that. So I don't use soap as much as I used to. I put on lotion when I get out of the shower sometimes, but not every day because again, it's not really necessary until you're kind of in like your late 30s from what I've learned, mid 30s is when your skin's natural. Um, moisture complex barriers kind of um, die down a little bit and that's when you might need to help out your skin with some lotion, but too many young people are kind of forcing your skin's natural ability to moisturize and lubricate get lazy um, and you're adding moisture when your skin can already provide its own moisture so you know you don't want to mess up your body's natural defense so that's my take I know it's controversial but yeah so the point is I just use water I get my face wet after the gym and if I wear makeup I take it off with mostly water if I can just gently rubbing the water um, and not using a lot of friction but I use the makeup eraser to take off my makeup. I'll show you. Um, I have two. I have two, they're both dirty if you see makeup on these, but it's this really, really like soft cloth. Um, and so I just rub it on my face gently. I don't use any type of like rubbing, like forceful scraping motions. I just gently wipe the makeup off and it comes off and then if it's been a couple days and I see my skin's a little dry I'll put a little bit of face lotion on. Um, I have a bunch because I went through a phase where I was really into skincare but I realized how much it was making me break out so this CeraVe is kind of the only brand that is actually worthwhile for me because it's not super expensive which skincare doesn't need to be and it is very very light. I use one pump and even that I can still see like on top of my skin um, after I use it that it hasn't absorbed after several hours. So I just use a tiny, tiny bit. Cause again, once you stop washing your face and falling into this trap, your skin repairs itself. It takes several weeks, but your skin finally goes back to normal and restores its own moisture barrier uh, ability. And so then you won't need to use lotion that much. But I do use it on my face and my body when I really need it. So that was a long-winded explanation, but that's how I feel about skincare. So anyway, I took off my glasses and put on my contacts. I've been wearing contacts since I was like 12. And so now I'm about to put on some makeup. The first thing y'all saw me put on this morning, Elta MD. I couldn't see if this was focusing this morning because I didn't have my glasses on yet. <laughs> um, so I always use sunscreen every day, usually twice a day in the morning. And then when I go outside, should probably apply it a little bit more, but I feel fine at least applying it twice. <laughs> so I put on that, but that's kind of it. And then at the end of the day, even if I don't wear makeup, I don't like take off the sunscreen because it really just absorbs into your skin anyway. So there's nothing really to take off. Um, and so then if I'm doing makeup, I don't wear a lot of makeup because again, I don't wanna disrupt my skin. And I kind of like a more natural look, but when I do, so I don't use anything crazy. I have a lot of makeup, but I just rotate between like a few things. So starting with this Maybelline BB cream, it is BB cream with some SPF in it and my shade I think is light medium. So I just take a little bit in my finger like that, rub it together. Yes, I use my fingers. I don't, uh, I know that you could use a beauty blender and whatnot, but you know, I just think this gets the job done and I'm satisfied with the results. Another thing I was mentioning when I was think another thing I was thinking to mention, oh, sorry, now I'm using the Benefit 
Boing, I think it's called, brightening concealer. My mom and I both use this. We really like it because um, my allergies, ever since I was 12 years old, <laughs> I've had these dark circles and it's from allergies. It comes uh, under your eyes when you're having like sinus issues and that's basically my entire life. So I have always had dark circles and I've been a little self-conscious about it, but instead of getting like filler or anything like that, I've just accepted how I naturally look and I'm okay with it to an extent and I just use makeup a little bit when I do wear it so using this under eye concealer <sighs> yeah I have thought about getting filler um, for like my lips like my top lip is very small um, and I've been self-conscious of it for a lot of my life but I just like I don't know I don't know what people really think about filler like there's not enough long-term studies um, effects on the long-term studies well, studies on the long-term effects of getting filler. Um, and so I just don't know how safe it really is. Oh, sorry. Now I'm using Lemonade. It's another eye concealer and I just use it for the tops of my lids. I think, yeah, this is Benefit as well. So I'm just putting this on. Anyway, I think I was talking about filler. Yeah, I don't think I would actually do it, but it's just a consideration I've had <laughs> for those things. Um, yeah, I'm using my fingers for everything. Um, the only cosmetic like procedure, I guess, that I have also considered is LASIK, but I've heard a lot of bad things about that as well. I mean, I've heard good things, but also the cost benefit analysis of LASIK, like for me, I calculated how much I spend on contacts, which I buy twice a year in glasses um, over 10 years, because that's how long LASIK usually lasts. And the cost of LASIK is pretty much equal to the cost of having glasses and contacts for 10 years. So the cost is the same and it's just like the risk of LASIK, I don't know if I'm willing to take. And I know it's a really, really safe procedure and things like that and it's very commonly done but i have heard horror stories of people going blind and and you know committing suicide and things like that so that's <laughs> extreme but i just don't think i want to do it yet because of that also my prescription constantly changes and my ophthalmologist kind of recommended that i just keep wearing glasses and contacts for now so regardless i'm going to do that um but besides that LASIK fillers, um, laser hair removal I've actually done. I wanted to mention that. Oh, but next I'm using the Naked Basics. I use this for my eyebrows because, yeah, I think y'all, I just use like these two, like these two lighter ones. Um, my eyebrows are blonde, like my hair is like a dirty blonde naturally, and I get a little bit of highlights here and there. But so I just basically fill it in very lightly and go with the brush that I think came with it. Um, if I mess it up, I literally just rub it off because I cannot be bothered. Uh, I'm just gonna use this mirror because I always do. But anyway, I got laser hair removal since I've lived in Texas on my underarms and Brazilian area. And I think overall it was a good experience. Like I did it at a safe place. My friend had been going there for a long time and recommended it to me and I liked it, but the, yeah, so my eyebrows just kind of look like that, like very natural. Um, and I'll probably fix it. And then I actually just use the same palette when I'm at work. I put like this on my lid and this on the highlight section and this on the uh, crease, just cause I really don't care to do like a big glam face for work. <laughs> um, but so anyway, I got laser and it kind of worked. Like you can see my hair is naturally dirty blonde. I have light complected. Um, and laser actually works best on people with dark, coarse hair, with um, dark, darker complected, dark hair, thick hair, coarse. Uh, and that is not really my hair, unfortunately. So it worked, but it's like, I used to shave every week. Um, like I would shave every single day, um, both areas because it would grow back very fast, the hair. But now I shave like once a week. So I guess that's some progress, like once a week uh, from shaving every day. But I didn't really realize also it's something you have to keep up with. And it's expensive when I could just shave um, or use Nair, which I know is not good for your skin. I just went on a whole thing about skin. And then I mentioned that I use Nair, <laughs> but I'll just use Nair on my legs um, because my leg hair is blonde and I can't do laser on that at all. I never did laser on that to begin with because blonde, you have a risk of like burning yourself. 
like I said, it works best laser on uh, dark hair. So I was only able to do the underarms in the Brazilian area. So, I mean, it was fine. I would recommend it for people who have darker hair um, because it will absolutely work for you. And it was kind of expensive. I went like every two weeks or something, maybe once a month. I kind of forget when I was doing it, but you just bought a package of like eight sessions. Um, actually, no, I think I went every six weeks. So I just went and had it with a different nurse. Um, and the next, sometimes I use a uh, pressed powder, but right now I'm just using the Bare Minerals uh, Mineral Veil, I think it's called. And I'm just taking this big brush. It was just like in a brush set that my grandma gave me. And I just take like a little, little drop put it on my chin, nose, like just kind of all the areas that are getting a little bit oily because of my sunscreen and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, so laser, I would kind of recommend, I don't know if you're blonde, but if you have a little darker hair, it definitely works. Okay, so now I have been using this for years. I never see anybody talk about it, but it's something I got when I got my makeup done at MAC one time and I bought it and I've been using it ever since. Like I'm a really minimal makeup person. So it's just like, it's really messy, but it's a bronzer, blush and highlight all in one. So I just use the same brush that I used for the powder and take like a few strokes and just go up on my cheeks, like across my nose. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> and I really, it's called Other Earthly Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, and I love this. I would much rather have three products than one. And then as I say that, I open another bronzer, but I've been using this a little bit as it's summertime. Um, it's just another MAC bronzer, medium tan mineralized skin finish natural. And it looks like this. I don't know why there's two different colors, but I just literally use that exact same brush and I kind of go here around just very lightly. Um, and under here I do clean my brushes quite often uh, so don't don't get scared about that I clean my brushes often um, I don't wear makeup every day like pretty much since quarantine started I've only worn makeup a handful of times and very very recently like the past couple weeks with work at home but I use these uh, eco tools makeup brush cleansing I got this there's like 25 towels in here so I use this and I just wipe my brush on the wipe um, and then it cleans them, but I also have this, which is more, um, environmentally friendly. It's like a brush and sponge cleaner, uh, just from Target and I'll spray it on the brushes underwater. So make sure you are cleaning your brushes. And so, so far you can see my face. I'll move this a little bit so you can see how it looks. These lights are really, really bright. So it's a little bit almost there. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I think I have a lipstick in here. Yeah, like I said, I'm meeting with legislators right now, so I'm trying to look like a little bit put together. But of course my hair is really greasy, so I'm probably gonna have to pull it back. <laughs> so I just put on a little bit of this NARS. This is like one of the little samples they give you on your birthday. Uh, the, the shades Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita, I'll like leave it here. And then lastly, I switched between a bunch of different mascaras. I really like the Damn Girl Too Faced is pretty good. Um, Better Than Sex is all right. I know people talk about it, um, but it's pretty comparable to Lash Paradise, which is like half the price, so you could use that. And then Telescopic by L'Oreal is really, really good as well. But right now, I'm using this little sample I got as part of a birthday thing, like a Clinique High Impact Mascara. And I think it looks pretty good. And then I just take this mirror that I have and I think my technique is a little bit different than I've seen on YouTube, but it really avoids the, I forget what they're called, like devil's hell pieces or whatever it's called, devil crumbs on your eyelid from mascara. And this is a little bit tough, like y'all see I'm like this tall, so I'm just bending down a little bit because I have this little canvas that the camera's balancing on right now. I really need to get a tripod. I just like, I don't know y'all. If you have any good tripod recommendations, please let me know. All right, and so now we are looking like this. Just like I mentioned, very natural. Um, please don't come for me. <laughs> I do do uh, like more quality time spent makeup occasionally, but 
for work, it's like I kind of cannot be bothered because especially working at home, I have this one meeting, another meeting, and then that's it. Like I can just chill and I don't have to see anybody else. So I try not to get too worried about you know, like appearance, especially because I am completely comfortable just using, uh, just wearing natural makeup. Hair is very oily, so I'm going to tie it back into a ponytail so that it looks at least a little bit professional. I'm going to get myself dressed right now. I'll show you how it looks a little bit. Um, yeah, I think it looks great, and I'm going to get ready, and then I'll show you the final outfit. Okay, I finished getting ready. I just put my hair in this ponytail, little necklace, uh, pearls that I always wear, especially because the shirt is pretty loud, so I don't want to have, like, big earrings. Um, but, yeah, this is what I will look like for my meeting, and then I just have my Nike shorts and slippers on because that is the reality of working at home when you only have to show your chest up. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to work, and I'm not sure if this is the end of the video, but I'll just say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and I'm so excited that y'all are still watching if you are um, I really really appreciate it and if you enjoyed this kind of get ready with me uh, morning routine um, kind of plastic surgery cosmetic procedure explanation review talk <laughs> just let me know and I will post more like this but thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all next time